What's up everyone, Johnny Skywatcher here, coming at you with another edition of Johnny Skywatcher Live. It is going to be a little bit shorter than usual, but hopefully it's okay with everyone. I mean, today's a pretty slow news day, so I only have one topic to talk about. Plus, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, I am sort of experimenting with the format because, you know, this channel is still very young, just still in the experimental phase, so I'm trying different things, so I'm going to try to make today's a short video and see how that affects the whole that old YouTube algorithm and see if it's any better. But uh, any of that, let's get started. Okay, so the first topic I'm going to talk about today, or I should say the only topic, is they're making a Lion King sequel to the remake. Uh, well, the, okay, they're Ted. Technically not remaking Lion King 2. They're just making a sequel to the Lion King remake. Yay! <laughs> Says everyone. Anyway, this is just... I think this is the first real news we've gotten about it. I think there's been some rumbling about it maybe happening. But this is the first real... Like, this is actually happening. So we got Lion King follow-up set with Moonlight director Barry Jenkins to helm for Walt Disney Studios. So, yes. Barry Jenkins, who I think, as it says, won the Oscar for scripting the Best Picture winner Moonlight and was nominated for adapting If Beale Street Could Talk. And he also directed both. So, I don't think I've seen either of those movies, but they're apparently, you know, pretty good. And, you know, no more information really about this, but according to this deadline article which was written by Mike Fleming Jr. <laughs> I'm not familiar with the writers at all but according to Mike Fleming Jr. he's been told that the story will further explore the mythology of the characters including Mufasa's origin story which is totally what we need no <laughs> what are they what are they going to tell Mufasa's origin story for and well I'm assuming nah I'm not even going to go there it's just stupid it's stupid. This whole thing is stupid. And, uh... It says, uh, other credits... Nathanson. Uh, who is Nathanson? Barry Jenkins. Uh, I'm totally lost with this. Anyway. This guy's involved with it. Do I think it could be any good? Probably not. You know, I, uh, to be honest, I think it is possible for a different director to take on the same sort of CGI style and do something new and interesting with it. Because, goodness knows, I was not impressed by the Lion King remake. I was really disappointed about it, by it because I was so impressed by the Jungle Book remake, which Jon Favreau also directed. And then he went on to direct Lion King, and then... Instead of pivoting in the way of like sort of, of looking at the original and seeing what can you do differently like he did with the Jungle Book, he sort of just like said, let's make this as photorealistic as possible. No, no, that, that wasn't a great move. It didn't turn out that well. And it isn't all that interesting. To be honest, this is just, oh, this is just... It's just such a bad idea, you know, and I I think when it comes to a sequel to the movie, just in general, like forget about the remake aspect. When did Disney, okay, when did Disney start making <laughs> sequels? You know, they, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going with this. This is just a dumb idea. Though I have to say, they didn't say necessarily that this is planned for a theatrical release. Now my question is, using the CGI, would do do we do I think that they would reasonably spend this amount of money on a like a Disney Plus sequel? I don't know. It, it depends on the cost of it. You know, if it doesn't cost that much more, and if they're if you see them like. Uh, cutting a lot of corners. Maybe it's possible this could be a Disney Plus original, which, just like, you know, the DVD, straight-to-video 
straight to DVD sequels that Disney has made in the past, I don't really care about. You know, it was just pumped out there for content for kids, and you can kind of pretty much ignore them. You know, they they made The Lion King 2, which was like a Romeo and Juliet story, I want to say, between Simba's daughter and then like kind of implied to be maybe Scar's kid, but maybe not. <laughs> And, you know, I, I, who knows if they go that route with the story. I, I kind of am thinking since they didn't mention the the animated sequel and since nobody... I'm not going to say nobody cares about it. I'm sure there's people who really like the, the Lion King sequel. But I, I'm sure the people who are going to be working on this probably don't care. So they're going to be doing something completely different. This whole thing about maybe go going to Mufasa's origin story and being like the Godfather Part 2, which I've never actually seen. Oh, oh my. <laughs> and uh, maybe, who knows? I, I mean, I think this is sort of like, you know, you stretching a little bit to find something more for the story. Uh, basically, all, all the story is is that uh, Barry Jenkins is attached to Lion King. Two, and that's it. Yeah, I I kind of kind of hoped that I would have more to talk about than just that. Um, boy, this is gonna be a really short video. Anyway, I don't think there's a any need to kind of drag things on. That what do you what do you think about the the prospect of a Lion King's the Lion King remake sequel? slash prequel if it involves Mufasa's past. Is that something you're actually interested in? Or are you like me and you just you think it's a really bad idea and he, basically the only way that not even saying it would be turn out well, but like if it the only way I would not care about them ruining Lion King further is if they put this on Disney Plus or something. Like if they release this on in theaters, it's, it's stupid. It's dumb, and I, I hope people don't pay to see it. And please don't make, please don't go and see this and and, and make this another billion dollar hit because the first line, the first Lion King remake should not have been a billion dollar hit. It just shouldn't have. It was not a good movie, and in every shape, way, and form, and the sort of the hate that people have had for Mulan. Where was it during Lion King? Because it really should have been towards that movie as well. That's all That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for me today. Like I said, very short episode. And um, if, if, you, if you watch this video, thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. You know, there's that like button. You can also click if you, if you like the content. I want YouTube to know that you like the content. And you can always type in a comment, you know, something. I, I don't, I don't care, care what you type. I don't. Does that actually affect YouTube's algorithm? I have no idea. Does anybody know? Does anybody know what's going on with YouTube? Anybody? No. Who knows? Anyway, uh, do all that if you if you feel like, or you can just you know, <laughs> click to some other videos, uh, if you feel like. You know, I don't, I don't care what you do. Just do whatever you feel like. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.